can add waypoints. There we are inserting one in the last position. It uses a rotator that rotates in the direction of travel we've seen before. So that's how it works in, in 2D mode. The same as it works in 3D mode, but the components are separated as the be behaviors need uh, different logic to get them moving properly. So cool, so that's the whole two. So now, um, I propose we go ahead and make a make a track and try the same thing here in a in a brand new scene. Cool, so let's create a new scene. And we're all empty here. Um Ooh, you know what'd be cool? Let's create a plane. I like 3D, so I prefer to work in 3D. Let's add a light. Uh, wind zone is nice, but <laughs> rather add a light. It's a directional light. Let's get that out of the way. It's always a bother. They're always bumping into you. So now let's create a quad. The quad is going to be for our, our vehicle. Cool, so we have our quad. Let's take a good look at that. Oh, we're on the wrong side of it. Okay, so the quad needs to be rotated. So first, let's create an empty game object, which we can't in this version of Unity. I'm building the this package in a lower version of Unity so it can be more accessible to everyone. So car. So let's just start removing components to create our own empty, our own empty game object. And let's reset its position. I'm gonna do that with the plane too. Cause that moves so far, the plane's gotta be out of whack. So our car is reset. Let's reset the position of our quad. Put it in our car and turn it. So about a 90 degree rotation should have us able to see the top of it okay so move the quad up just a tad and now we're good so let's get our camera in the middle of the game there five maybe 90 degrees whoa uh five maybe so five is high ten is still high but it works so let's get uh, image on our quad so can we can use a default sprite renderer but now we have to create our, our own so I really don't want to add new materials in this package add a material car and let's adjust that. So, how about that car? That's fine with me. And supply it to our quad. So, we're probably going to need a little bit more work here. How about transparent? Maybe diffuse? Okay, that looks fine. Now, Let's rotate our quad on the Y. Looks like about 90. That might be backwards. So, <laughs> how about uh, negative 90? And let's make it more car like. So, we're going to need to trim one of the axes down and do all that rotation. I don't know which one I should be trimming. So, it's probably the Y. Does that look like a car? Yeah, so how about 1.5 and 2.5? That's huge. So 2 and 
one. Still huge. Oh, let's make us a tiny little car, man. Point six. Okay, that looks nice. So that's the basic shape I want. And now we can use our scale tool and just scale it all up so it can look a little bit bigger. So now the goal is to get this car to drive around this plane um, without writing a line of code. So we have components to do that. So the component we're going to use is the behavior and we're in, we're in 3D space. Let's use a smooth waypoint behavior and let's just start adding waypoints. So where do we want the car to start? That's the original waypoint. So let's do that. How about we start right here at the starting line. add another waypoint, insert glass, and there we go. And we're off and running. Insert first, well that's a boo-boo. How about we insert last? I have an error, perfect. That's why I'm here, to fix those. Oh, that's the disposable. Alright, awesome. Hang on. This train has been access and on a behavior, reordable. Binding and binding, so I maybe need to check for no on that instance. Smooth behavior editor. Okay, hang on. Smooth behavior editor, waypoint, and it's not a lie. So, un undo, redo, and that goes pretty deep. So, I'm going to stop right here. If is that a Unity object? Because if it is, I can stop here. Nope. Smooth waypoint, reordable list. Is smooth waypoint behavior does not equal no? This may be a problem. I may have to go deeper in the actual smooth waypoint uh, and see what's see what's going on. Okay, cool. So now we did that. Let's see if we get that same error again. compiled so we add that and I think we clicked on insert first and I said nope and I clicked undo and beautiful so error fixed live here so you don't have to worry about getting it so insert before selected that would probably put between me and the car again and I I don't want that so undo perfect insert last so it's a waypoint so we have loops so they are connected and we can undo the loop but that's just for translation its movement it doesn't disconnect the waypoint loops so we're getting something we're getting something let me get the light out of the way some more so we have this one let's insert one there insert after so we can Smooth out our waypoint. So that was an insert before. This is the selected. Insert before selected. Cool. So, so far we have a simple track, and just pressing play here would translate our car around the track. Uh, we're moving real slow. Increase our scale. And we're flying around, but of course there's something missing. Cars don't really move like that. And we're ping ponging. So let's use wrap and speed up our car just a bit. And we need to add one more component that makes the object turn. So we go into behaviors and we use the path rotator. And again, since we're working in 3D space, we use a 3D path rotator. 
So we can adjust this how fast we need to turn and stuff. But from experience, I know a higher number will give a better rotation on faster speeds. So I, I'm going to 500 is kind of really t So I'll do a 4 and we'll see how that looks. So now there we go. We have our car and it's driving around the path. So it's moving along the waypoints and we can adjust these waypoints willy nilly and it will follow. So remember it's just like any Unity behavior you, you change in uh, play mode the changes won't be preserved. So that being said let's just add some more waypoints. How about a flying car? Yeah. Let's have that going up just to demonstrate. It's a plane, so we're not going to see the bottom parts of it. So it's being rotated as it should in 3D and 2D space. So that's how you'd use uh, value constraints to get your objects to move around, turn, and whatever else you like to do with them.